one Blue Jays way in Toronto. Welcome to Rogers Center. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the Toronto Blue Jays. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. And Chris, a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year, Justin Turner. He leads the team and wins above replacement. So most days, you can expect him to be a big factor for these guys. Yeah, Boog, he's definitely a huge piece of the puzzle for this ball club right now. He's just having a really nice year, and that's on both sides of the ball, not just offensively. You talk to guys in the clubhouse, the coaching staff, they always have great things to say about him, and they say the team really looks to him to be one of the on-field leaders day in and day out. Just about ready to go, and today's starting pitcher, you say Kikuchi. Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. The shortstop takes a ball. Inside just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground the first. Takes it himself. Yeah. One up, one down. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Ryan McMahon. Well, he's been incredible recently, Boog. Last month, his on-base percentage was over 500. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't think my on-base percentage was ever 500 in a month. This guy's so disciplined as a hitter, it leads him to finding good pitches to hit, and he's got the patience to just take a walk as well. Top of the zone for a called strike. And a pitch. Oh. One and two. Ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. That is third. The right field. Chris Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. That one hammered center field. Bar show moving back for it. That's long gone. His second of the year, and the Rockies jump in front. It's 1-0. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He squared it up right away. The great pitchers are able to tease the outside part of the zone with the breaking ball. That means that it looks like it's going to be a strike, but finishes off the plate. Well, that one finished on the outer half, but caught just too much of the plate and hit for a home run. And now here is Lowry's Montero. And first offering is fouled off. The middle. Guerrero the toss to first. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now in Toronto. And today's starting pitcher, Austin Gomber. What do you look for here? 
Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five Lee of those offerings, look out, hitters. The it's going to be a field. tough day. He's Joel. really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. And here is George Springer. First pitch just misses. You have to be creative okay. pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. The ball. Next pitch is outside. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Oh. And another ball. In the air, center field. On his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Right. Let's take a look at the lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. stands in now and watches strike one. Foul ball there. One out, base is empty. Not even close there. And that's ball one. One down, base is empty. Way high there. And it's two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. To the right side. Sends it to Tolia. And Guerrero is set down. Batting third. Not shortstop. Whoa. Bull Bichette up to the dish. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And the first pitch misses for ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. That one misses, and now 3-0. and oh. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. In the air, right field. And that oh. will drop foul. Two out, space is empty. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter didn't offer no, it. Really. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now no, Justin no, no, Turner no. gets a chance to hit. Ball, ball one and a pitch inside. And the 1 0. And there's a ball. 
Bichette off of first with two away. That one misses. And that's ball three. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Yeah, there's ball four. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, but that last one wasn't even close. No, Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Just oh, missed. That one hooked foul. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Too soon at strike two. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. This to third, McMahon. They get the force. That's the third out, inning over. So they strand a pair. We move to the second in Toronto. It's the Rockies one and the Jays nothing. Top of the second. Now here's Nolan Jones. You know, this no is kind of a way. tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Oh. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. No, that may be a pitch that he turns on. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone well reviewed by those we talked to around the league yeah he's an umpire he doesn't get a lot of looks from players maybe here and there once in a while but he's appreciated back there the one one is fouled off swings through it and that's a strikeout he came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And stepping in is the speedy Brenton Doyle. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. Yes. And it's even up. They can live up in the zone ball, all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The pitch. That one to first. Biggio Help. takes it himself. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting. 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 The second base. Brendan Rogers. Now it's Brendan Rogers taken high in the draft he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform but at some point that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level oh and one. two down nobody on oh. just missed with that backdoor breaking ball if he gets a swing and miss or called strike 0 2 Cal instead it's 1 1 look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat two outs in the air, out towards left center, touches down, that's a hit. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Man at first, here's Michael Tolia. 
And that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Rodgers off of first with two away. There's a strike. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Got a target. He got him. Nice play. The Rockies strand one, but they're on top, one nothing. Here at Rogers Center, and here's the catcher, Alejandro the catcher. Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Yo, really ball. good athlete, and many times we what talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well really quick feet he's able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop close one doesn't get the call and it's three and oh i think he wanted that call in the open part of the zone but just didn't get it now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed so he can adjust his sights just a little bit Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter or two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Kevin Kiermeyer in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Line drive and a base hit right there. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, just a nice job that coming through in a pretty that high level me. spot right there. Oh, Showed sure. a willingness to drive that pitch that the man. opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. First and second, no outs. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. There's a strike. Blue Jays down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss. up to the left into foul ground McMahon snags it on the run batting on the and now it's Dalton Varsho you talk about elite defensive players especially in the middle of the diamond and this guy is at the top of the list that one off the mark ball one and you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Kicks and fires. And there's the strike. Runners at first and second with one gone.
Line drive. Doyle pulls it in on the run. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. Here's George Springer. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. It's early, but these bats can impact the game just as much as they do later. Here's a chance to set the tone early for your team. Now it's Bolte. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A gigantic blast. Third home run of the season, and they tack on three. It's 3-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, ready for it. He's like BP all over again. So two down, and now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Out to short. Sends it to Tolia. And that'll do it. It's a beautiful Springer Dinger here. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Now the Rockies catcher, Jacob Stallings. And a pitch. That oh. misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And he deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. And oh, foul, ball. foul ball. The pitch. Two, two. That's off the mark, and it's three and two. And the swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. So up next, Ezekiel Tovar. He's over one. And a good eye there. Tovar, 22 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. One down, base is empty. And that's a little bit high. Two balls, no strikes. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. And that's too high. The Rockies down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. Three balls, two strikes to count. Slice to right. 
Springer there makes the catch, and there's two down. The third base, number 24. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. McMahon. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Oh, and he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. And now a little barking back towards the umpire. Clearly thought he got that outside corner on. What was a pretty big pitch. Sometimes that only makes it worse for you moving forward, but it can also open up that location in the future if the umpire thinks there's a chance that he missed it. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. I think he was sitting off speed there. Wouldn't chase that time. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he got him. It's a 1-2-3 inning for the Rockies. 1-2-3 go the Rockies. Score holds. It's 3-1. As we go to the last of the third, here's the shortstop at the play, Bo Bichette. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Well, these Blue Jays did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. The 0-2. That oh. one missing inside. It's a good take. Just off the outside part of the plate. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Oh, and three. another ball. Three and two. On the ground. Tobar. Fires across the diamond. And Bichette is retired. The left number, number, number two. two. Just Here's Turner now. He reached out a walk his first time. Just off the outside edge. One ball, ball one. Okay. Right through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. The why to kick the pitch. And another ball. Swings through that one for strike two. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. He goes down looking. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Out towards right center field. Bryant trying to get there. Makes the play, and it's out number three. New inning getting started, and the batter now, Chris right Bryan. Chris Bryan. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. All these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? Oh. We'll see, but I think they have to. The 
line of the pitch. Whoa. Right side, hard hit. The throw to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. The back, I think they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're so now it's the four hole hitter, Elauri's Montero. Grounded out his first time up. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. No ball. One strike. That one missed. 1 and 1. That's in there. And the count one and two. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you'd have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. That's the ball. That misses, and that is ball one. Swings through that one for strike one. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Rockies are down quietly. And it remains a 3 1 ball game. Now in Toronto, bottom of the inning. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. And the pitch. There's a strike. That one's in there. 0 and 2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. As to the conviction in the call. Hit in the air, right field. Hauls it in for the out. One down. Up next to the Blue Jays, the designated hitter. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First offering, and it just misses. Lefty fires. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. McMahon pulls it down, and there's two away. The batter, the, the third baseman, Ernie Clement. Two outs, bases empty. Now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. He popped out his first time. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Ball one, one. one there. <laughs> Wouldn't Both. chase that one time. Trick. Corner for a strike. It's two and two. Uh, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. 
Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. So digging in, Dalton Varsho. 0 for 1 so far. And that's in for a strike. Clement leads off first with two down to the inning. Right through there for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. One left for Toronto, but they still lead it 3-1. And we're back. And now here's a speed threat. The center outfielder, Brenton Doyle. Brenton Doyle. And a pitch. And ball one. With all these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. In the air, out to center. Varsho moving under it. And there's one down. The batter is second, second, second base. So up next, Brendan Rogers. And he's already singled in this game. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. missed swings and misses and it's two and one and now the lefty liner caught it second it's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove but you will get some high fives you know when you make great contact you feel like you've done everything right but in this game of baseball not everything is in your control and now Michael Tolia grounded out his first time there's a strike well on the mound no very efficient able to produce an outcome it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat two outs lifted in the air right field and George makes the grab Back here at Rogers Center, here's George Springer to start it off. The wind and the pitch. Right. That one Ooh. finds the zone. Oh, That's one. strike one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Ryan Feltner preparing to come on if needed. Quantrill also getting ready. And a pitch. Upstairs. Oh, and another ball. One Next one misses. Now three and one. Kicks and deals. Rip to short, jump throw. Awesome play there. Fastball groove right down the middle. Down Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr.
Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. One down, base is empty. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Doyle makes the grab on the run. Now batting, shortstop. Now it's the shortstop, Bo Bichette. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Two down, nobody on. Oh, great grab on the dive. From his knees, the throw. On the money, nice play. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle, diving stop, completes the play, and that ends the inning. We go to the top half of inning number six. Jacob Stallings down. Kikuchi back to work. Stallings goes six feet five inches, 225 pounds, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2012. Misses outside, and that's ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Just oh, missed. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. Ooh. Right through there for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Kicks and fires. And that's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Next to him for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. Right through there for a strike. Now, these guys definitely One looking strike. for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really oh. important to getting back into this ballgame. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Oh. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. A little bit low. Now on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Ryan McMahon up next for the Rockies. Swing and a pop up. He's under it. He's got it. One away. So digging in, Ryan McMahon. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. First pitch misses. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Jose Barrios. The hard-throwing righty is up and loosening. Cabrera, a left-hander, also throwing. At the belt and fires. Right down to shoot, and the count one and one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch. And a foul ball. Foul ball still, one and two count. And 
here it comes. Got him, Squiggy. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Brian, the next to hit, takes outside. Two outs. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. Slapped foul. Pitch. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. No runs on no hits. No errors. And one left on. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Blue Jays three. And the Rockies one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Feltner. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight Fort back Toronto. into the game. No here's left Justin left. Turner. A strikeout and a walk. Turner. The pitch. That misses the okay. zone. One and oh. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Jalen Beeks getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Oh, and now dude. two and nothing. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Fouled off two and two. Ray Just ball. misses he's the right. mark outside the zone. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. to the plate and they'll do it again right hander kicks deals fouled off again and it remains three and two And he walked him. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Go. Everyone go. gets a walk. The go. 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 And next Cavan. for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. Biggio. They'll say you, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses. And it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose father has also played the majors. Runner on the goal, swing and a miss. Throw to second, and he's out. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That one close, ruled a ball. And the count even one and one. 
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark. For those kids who are fortunate enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues, them being on the baseball field, for some it's pressure. For them, they feel that they are right at home. Wouldn't chase that time. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Kirk lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable. Run around the move, pitch in for a strike. The throw, tag, and he's out. Two unsuccessful stolen base attempts tonight, so I think this is where we probably see them change up their plan offensively. The running game just isn't working, and those are costly out, so they're going to have to string together some hits and change things up a little bit. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. That one is upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Right handed reliever. Swing and a miss struck him out. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Jose Barrios. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. And Lowry's Montero oh, digs in now. The Lowry's Montero. And a pitch. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Oh, he brought it back. So for two with a pair of strikeouts. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Line drive, base hit right field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So up next, Brenton Doyle. Barrios a check to first. Jones back in on a dive. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, Rudder takes off, pitch in for a strike. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. Tying run at the plate, and fouled off. Wow. 
Next for Colorado, Brendan Rogers. One for two. Just missed. Runner at second, two down. Here in the top half of inning number seven. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. The tying run at the plate. Fall off foul. That's Next pitch ball. is downstairs. That's a really good take. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to the right. And that one finds its way through. Now a long throw home. Tag. Not in time. Safe. And they trail by one. Always feels amazing getting the job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. Michael Tolia getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Tries to check his sleep. Now look to third. And he went around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Blue Jays three and the Rockies two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jalen Beeks. He's been so good against lefties. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way no, back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Kiermaier. The wind of the pitch. And the slider just misses. That pitch in for a strike. And the count one and one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner win. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. So digging in, Ernie Clement. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. Whoa. Wouldn't chase that time.
Swing and a foul straight back. And now the lefty. Pitch misses. Two and two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to Talia. Two up, two down. Well, what we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Here's the center fielder, Dalton Varsho. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That clips a corner. No ball. Two strikes. strikes he goes three up three down inning over offense held a check there we look ahead to inning number eight it's the Blue Jays three and the Rockies two welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight Nate Pearson and he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with uh, hitters gonna have to pick it up early if they're gonna have any chance but Black bringing on a pinch hitter, Elias Diaz. And he would be the tie and run book, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. And here it comes. And a good eye there. Is in the dirt. Right. Now 2 0. Oh. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Jimmy Garcia appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. In the air, right field. And that is Springer. And out number one on the ground. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first oh, hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there, can really settle in. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. One down. And here is Ryan McMahon. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be. That one is absolutely belted. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. A couple of singles back to back. Yeah, Solid yeah. swing from start to end. Yeah. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Runners at the corners here. One away. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. That's oh. off the mark. Ball one. Ball. Okay. one out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. And that one missing low. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two on, one out. That one misses. And now three and up. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And Lowry's Montero hitting on deck circle. 
Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the corner, and the count is three and one. And they're all loaded up. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. If you make the team earn their way on Substitution being made at first. Colorado going with a pinch runner. George Marte. And Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. Golden opportunity right here. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. That one a little bit high, and that is ball one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Puts a bunt down. Guerrero. Tie ball game as they get the second out with the run scores. Well, the safety squeeze can be tough to defend, especially with a good runner in third. You can't risk trying to be overly aggressive and make a play at the plate and give up that easy out at first. Bowden Francis gets the call from the pen. This is his third time out this year. Next to hit for the Rockies, Nolan Jones, one for three. And that one fouled off. Oh. Off the mark there, and one and one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Here's a 1 1. Late swing, foul to the left. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. So remaining in the game defensively, Elias Diaz. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Cal Quantrill. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Now into the game, Jake Cade. He takes over and right. Back to the top Leading of the lineup. Up, and now the right fielder, George right Springer. Field. He's already home in this game. Right and a pitch. No. And that one just oh. misses. A ball and no strikes. Mm -hmm. Quattro back to work. And right. another ball. Good eye in that spot. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on deck for the Blue Jays. Quattro back to work. 3 1, you, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Go out, runner at first. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. That clips the corner. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Pickoff throw, and Springer's in there safely. And the 
righty deals. Springer on the run. And the right hander deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. One and two. Squirts away a little bit. The tag and right got him at second. Wow. I mean, you can't really blame him for wanting to move on and try to get in the scoring position, knowing that he's the potential winning run. But man, that hurts right there. Nice job on the defensive side of the ball to cut him down, though. Tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Fights it off. You'll see another. And a foul ball. He stays alive. up to the left into foul ground drifts towards it he makes the catch and there's two down that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate the had pretty good timing on it just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up Bull this shit now at the plate if you don't get ahead in the count you can forget about having any success against him That misses the zone, and it's 1 0. And that one is inside. Really good run, perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. But why to kick the pitch? Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go-ahead run on base. Well, that was one of those high-percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. There's just no one there to knock it down. Turner climbs in on that right side. That catches the top part of the zone. And that's strike one. Fly ball out towards left field. Jones going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. Ninth inning coming up. All tied up at three apiece. We go to the ninth. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Hennessy's Cabrera getting ready to go. Next offering upstairs. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swing and miss. One and two. One ball. Well, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there and deal with the next guy. At the play, Brendan Rodgers. One that one not close. One and oh. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Is outside. Oh. 
right into the play. This one in the air right field. Fair ball. Now that the first base. Next for Colorado, Michael Tolia, 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Gets the call, strike one. Right field, down the line, and that one slices down. Kicks and fires. In the air, left field. Under it is Justin Turner to make the catch. Two down. The catch of the 35. And now it's Elias Diaz. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. And that is that. One hit, one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. All tied up at three apiece. to the ballpark ready to go for the last half of the inning and now the first baseman Kevin Biggio Quantrill back to work and that one fouled off the wind of the pitch swing and a tapper that rolls foul Left-hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out, bottom of the ninth. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Now it's going to be Alejandro Kirk. Drive caught that swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're on the plate. Kevin Kiermeyer next up for the Blue Jays. Just missed. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And another ball. Ernie Clement to bat next. Trying to send this to extra innings. And there's the automatic. Big swing and a miss. Kicks and deals. Got him looking for the K. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Down in order go the Blue Jays. Score remains tied at three.
Francis back to work. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy at extra frames. Swing and a ball lined out towards center, and that's down a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. So they hold the runner at third, yeah, wanting to play it safe. Big. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Ryan McMahon will hit next. That's in there. Runners at the corners, nobody out. Here in extra innings. Ground ball left side could be two. Beats oh. to second, out there. Back to first, and that is a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's Jake Cave now. Taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Oh. Fastball in for a strike, going one. Two outs. The other way. Clement to the first. That's out number three. So one hit is all they get. On to the bottom of inning number 10. All tied up at three apiece. Welcome back. Pinch hit getting set to lead off here at entrance. Daniel Vogel back. And this is a big at bat coming, boo. Definitely. The pitch. That one ripped, but foul. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Got him swinging. Ooh. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on. Have the force at second first. Perhaps getting any ending double play. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. Runner breaks for third. Strike in there. Bro, and they got him. Well, I could see he had a big lead out there at second base, so it wasn't a shock when he took off. But trying to steal third right there, it's kind of risky, man. You're already in scoring position, so you've got to make sure that you can make it there safely. That wasn't the case. Here's a 1-1. And fouled off. Watchell ahead, one and two. Out to short. Sends it to Tolia, and we're headed to the 11. Now into the ball game on defense, number 36. He's the new third baseman. And we're back. And now here is Lowry's Montero. Montero. With the right hander back to work. 
The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Pitch misses there. Two and one. And a swing to miss. In okay. the dirt, and the count is filled up. Got him. And one away. The left left. Nolan Jones, the next to hit. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. First offering, and it just misses. In the air to left down the line. And that is a foul ball. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. But he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to swings and misses, struck him out. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. That just misses. Ball one. Two down, go ahead, run, and score in position. Next offering is in for a strike. Slap the other way, foul. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Small guard belted. Varsho going back. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. All tied up at three apiece. Back here in extras and a new pitcher on the mound at the bottom half of the inning, Victor Vodnik. And the batter is George Springer. He's already homered here in this one. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so... Hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Gets down, base hit. Across is the winning run, and the Blue Jays lock it off in the 11th. You know, you had to 
feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. Four three, our final score. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Fans are final life for tonight. First for the big four.